Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why Small Thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts when they come along, as they often do, don't they? So, welcome, 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 new puzzle buddies, old puzzle buddies, and soon-to-be puzzle buddies to my small thoughts room, a place in my house, a little corner where I like to come and have small thoughts mostly with puzzles and sometimes making puzzle videos. So I like to take the time to say thank you for those of you who have been participating in my first and hopefully not last puzzle gift away and you can learn more about that in the link hopefully which will have figured out how to work up in the link above and if not it will definitely be in the description of this video and that'll tell you how to enter and win hopefully puzzle buddy you will win a package of puzzles that i hope to be able to personally curate just for you and you can enter by entering the secret puzzle password and i'll give you a hint puzzle buddy and subscribing and you can do that by going to the video above or in the link and more information there so thank you again puzzle buddies for allowing me to spend time with you and giving me so many small thoughts i am very very grateful so thank you very much for that and also too for your wonderful wonderful comments i got so many comments uh, this week, which was like the best thing ever, telling me what kind of puzzles you liked, puzzle suggestions. Thank you very much. I will take some of you up on your on your suggestions, and of course, some of the stories about how puzzles have connected you. Um, so thank you again, and I believe we're almost ready to uh, like the tree, which is been going kind of on. We've had a lot of uh, some ups and downs with it, but we're in part three. I should have mentioned that at the beginning part three of uh, this little puzzle collection series I'm doing and I do have a little bit of bad news good news about that that I'll tell you about at the end of the video but for right now we're at part three peace on earth and you'll see why when you see my puzzle selection I thought I'd do a selection of puzzles that brought about peace and peace on earth um, but before we do that I really wanted to get started because we had a lot happening with lighting the tree so i'm just waiting for my friend copernicus who's been at a meeting so i'll show you another small thought thing that i did over the weekend um or we did over the weekend and that was to make candles and it was a really fun small thought activity with some jars that we had or vintage some vintage jars and they were really pretty and i have a lot of them but you can't really use them for canning anymore and they belong to my great grandmother and grandmother who used them i vaguely remember canning with them but if you see the ring i'll show you i have it here you'll see why i didn't <laughs> you want to use it for pickling so we'll put that back but i did use it for candles which was great great fun um and not as hard as you might think i will absolutely put a little bit about how to make candles with links to people who know how to make candles way better than i do um in my website but i will show you my finished results which i'm very happy with and i think the key is to get good candle wax and this to make sure is container wax and you can pretty much put this on almost any container with a decent uh, mouth on it and make sure you get this right size wick but the fragrance is what it's all about so this is the candle that i did and i'm very very happy with it you can see it's been burned a bit already a little bit more than i thought it had been but um beautiful nonetheless and this is like got a nice cinnamon uh, orange clove smell with just a hint of tobacco so warm and fiery i like to call this scent magma so indeed it is i'm going to put that over there on my table and i've heard our friend copernicus come in ready for the writing the lighting of the tree he's running a bit late he was I believe at one of his meetings okay so here he comes in okay come on up just in time i was worried we were going to have to start without you but i'm just kidding you wouldn't do that okay so come on again did you need some help or you're good okay so here we go here we up oh and there you are hello how, how was your meeting good very happy to hear Oh, that looks painful. Did you want me to, to grab that for you, your little pencil? 
Okay. Ooh, I just went over a bit. Ooh, that must hurt your your little hair, your fur. Sorry. Put that aside for you. That looks um, difficult. How do you sharpen that? Ooh. Yeah, that does sound painful. I'm sorry that happened to you. But nevertheless, we will continue. So Copernicus, very excited about the lighting of the tree that we have been waiting for for one, two, three videos. And even though I haven't seen it yet, I've been assured that it's working great and you had all the little twinkles going and uh, it's up and ready to go. We just need to get it put turn it on so again I could sing a little carol for you but I won't <laughs> so let's go this is the little tree did you see it back there no. okay so let me just get the oh, this is nice let me just get the clicker for you to turn it on let's let me where did you what did you mean Apparently, we are missing the clicker. Well, I thought, this is kind of an old uh, little tree. I don't know why you would need a clicker. I don't remember my grandmother using the clicker. Oh, you modified it a bit. Made it, made it a little better. A little better. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. So we can wait to the end. That's fine. I think we can do that manually, correct? And assured that we will have the tree up and lit at the end of the video, correct? Yes, okay. So bye-bye for now, Copernicus. Do you need your, your pencil? Okay, let me just hand that to you. I'll put that to you. There you go. And careful as you make your exit. You do only have two or three lives left after all. So that's the tree, a bit disappointing, but what I will do is I can find my lighter, which I don't have handy. I was gonna light my candle, but I'll wait till later. Oh, I do find my lighter. Okay, so let me just light it, and then I'll have a little Christmas cheer in the background, and then of course we'll have some Christmas glow as we do our Peace and Earth video. I'll just light my candle in the background. I hope it doesn't do anything funny with the lighting. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Does anyone else like candles like me? I love them. If you like candles, let me know. I'd love to love to hear. You can comment in the comment section or even better. Um, if you have a candle or candle fragrance, you're welcome to uh, post it in your Instagram post. And absolutely do not follow me. I insist you do not follow me. But you can tag me at smaller underscore thoughts and I'll see your candle or the fragrance you like and we can share our love of candles together so enough about my love of candles and fragrance so we'll move on to the first puzzle of the puzzle video peace on earth and you'll see that i am not holding back i am definitely starting out with one of the very best puzzles for sure and this is called peace be to this house by ebu but that surprised people. It doesn't look like a typical Ibu. Absolutely stunning, stunning puzzle. And I do not think it can come through in the puzzle camera because it's a foil puzzle. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Silver foil, which is unusual. We see a lot of gold at Christmas and the holidays. Silver foil and then a beautiful Courier and Ives image of Peace Be This House, that very traditional look from Courier and Ives, who are probably one of the oldest printing companies, if not the oldest company, the printing companies in North America that started in, I think, 1850-ish. And this is one of their very traditional images you may be familiar with. But what Ibu has done is kind of cool. That is put it on foil, which is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, stunning puzzle. And this was my first Ibu purchase. And I bought it to meditate kind of over when I was doing my puzzle and bring peace to this house. and it kind of worked and I encourage you to do something similar with the puzzle. Evu um, comes with a, a, a poster, I'll show you the poster, and I obviously couldn't get the silver on it, but that'll give you an idea of the image. And the, the poster image is good quality, it's not as good as the 
Cobble Hill, but it is, they do give you one, which I really love. Um, this is a traditional size, 18 by 24 inches, a grid ribbon cut, good, very good quality. Um, and if you can find this puzzle, absolutely snap it up. I don't think you can find it online, but absolutely try your local puzzle store or game and hobby store. They may have one of these kicking around. Hopefully they will. Let's peace be to this house. A very beautiful holiday, welcoming peace to our homes, welcoming small thoughts, puzzle to do. And next we have another Cobble Hill by artist Janet Stever, who we had in my last puzzle collection video, which was not home for the holidays. It was peace, not peace. I don't remember what the, oh, oh, Santas and sleigh bells, sleigh bells and Santas. And so we had a snowman one here, and now we have another one from the same artist, Janet Stever, and this is called, look at, Song for the Season. Another delightful snowman family for the talented, fun, and uh, joy-filled Janet Stever. And she's done a beautiful little snowman family with someone playing a flute, the little snowman child on her sleigh or his sleigh, their sleigh with a teddy bear and mittens, and of course, little cardinals. Lots of cardinals on this one. Cardinals, of course, to me and other people are messages of encouragement, of support, or messages of comfort from ones who may have passed on. And they are, of course, always welcome, but sometimes we need to see cardinals more a little bit than usual. So lots of cardinals in this one today. I hope you're seeing cardinals and seeing them as a message of love and comfort, as I like to choose to do. So beautiful little snowman get together of coming together. And you can see why this came into my theme of peace on earth. People coming together in the darkness, the darkness of winter, the cold of winter, Ooh, very chilly, which reminds me I will have a hot sip of my very favorite drink, chai. I forgot to do that. So this is my chai. There it is in my new holiday mug, my new Christmas mug, home for the holidays. And indeed it is. I will have a sip. Good. That was really an excuse just to have a drink. Hang on. Next one up is another Cobble Hill puzzle. It is called, beautiful. oh, another Janet Stever I forgot to mention. Look how beautiful she, her work is. Look at the snowman, the cardinal, and then looking up at the shining star of hope. And his little buddy, his little friend, the fox, looking up with him. And that is by Janet Stever as well. This is beautiful, kind of a challenging puzzle because there's a lot of the three, three or four kind of primary colors with the blues and the reds and the greens and the golden yellows. A lot of fur here and then texture in the coat. A lot of the deep blues, the indigo blue, my starry night. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle, and a wonderful puzzle to think and bring in peace on earth. Lovely puzzle. And this is a portrait puzzle, 500. And the 500 sizes, I don't mind doing so much the vertical portrait. As landscapes, they aren't much so much of a reach. It's still an 18 by 14. And of course, the wonderful poster that always comes with Cobble Hill. And the next one I'm going to grab is a collection I think I've mentioned before in a spring summer collection there was a companion to this but this is called can you guess winter bird magic and the artist is Rosalind Solomon beautiful vignette scenes collage of feathered friends at the bird feeder enjoying their winter life Blue jay and a pine bough. You can see that, pardon me. Blue jay and a nice pine bough, frosted with snow. 
nice sky, a little bird feeder, like little gardens of, of seeds and cranberries, maybe a little chickadee or two, cardinal, more cardinals, blue jays, pretty pine homes. That's why it's kind of Christmas. It's got a real Christmassy theme to it. But again, a very peaceful, calming scene of nature coming together and celebrating peace on earth. Beautiful puzzle from Cobble Hill 500. And why I mentioned this is a series called Winter Bird Magic. They also have Hummingbird Magic and a couple of other ones. I believe there's four, five, six of them that are this type of collage um, and featuring a different theme. Wonderful little uh, series from Cobble Hill and a beautiful little Christmassy puzzle with lots of birds if you like bird puzzles, and I do. Let me know if you like bird puzzles. And then next coming up, we have, this is stretching it a bit for a holiday puzzle, but you'll see why I picked this in a second. This is a thousander, and this is so cute. This is also the artwork of Persis Clayton Weirs, and we featured her artwork in the, the other uh, Sleigh Bills and Santas. A little bit different. This is called, this is called Oh Cactus Kittens. And I, I was able to kind of slide this into a Christmas puzzle collection or holiday puzzle collection because that is, of course, a Christmas cactus. And I, if you have cats or ever had kittens, then you know how much they like to play in plants for some reason. <laughs> They've got an adorable little, little kitten friends playing together, kitten cousin, kitten sisters, having a nice time at Christmas of the holidays playing in their Christmas cactus and lots of fur and eyes to look out at you as you puzzle. So a very cute puzzle, thousand puzzles, a bit of a challenge. This may actually go in my puzzle gift away pile as it contains two pet peeves. I wonder if you can guess, little eyes <laughs> and one other thing. Okay, cactus. Kittens, very cute. Sorry, the puzzle, all puzzles cannot be 10 out of 10. Some of them have to be sevens or sixes even. So another, <laughs> really another nice puzzle um, by Joelle McIntyre, Cobble Hill, thousand piece puzzle, really nice calming puzzle to do over the holidays if you've got some time on your hand, that nice little spot between Christmas and New Year's, Boxing Day, where you can sit and have a hot cup of cocoa, um, splash with a bit of maybe Christmas cheer, and sit and do a relaxing puzzle. And it doesn't really get much more relaxing than this one called Lodge Cat. Look how cute, hey? <laughs> and indeed he is Lodge Cat having a beautiful time sitting in the sun. You must not see the, the birds, the cardinals outside or he wouldn't be looking at it so intently having a really really cozy day at the lodge the sun sitting on his chest next to the blanket or day bed with the Hudson Bay print on it and lantern and a beautiful birch tree some little fishing knickknacks here and some snowshoes oh my goodness that does sound snowy Really beautiful chest and some nice colors and some cute little mittens here to keep you interested. Lots and lots and lots of fun little colorful images on this one. The colors pop as you can see. The palette's very vibrant with the reds, the greens, the yellows and blues. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas holiday time winter puzzle. And this made the holiday because <laughs> fine bounce in it. That's why I, that's why I got to be peace on earth. And that's again a thousand pieces and the size of that is 19 by 26 inches the pieces are a little bit smaller next is what do we got here oh, oh a beauty and this puzzle is by my very favorite puzzle artist i always say that but she really is i probably have a, at least 20 or more and i really should do a puzzle video collection just featuring her the beautiful artwork of Mary and Bessie, and this is called Winter Neighbor. Look at how stunning that puzzle is. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Thank you, Mary and Fessy. Your artwork is beautiful and has provided much calm and peace to me. So thank you for the small thoughts you've given me, Mary and Fessy. And look at the beautiful scene of winter neighbors. And indeed, they are. We have people here at the home making a little snowman, so cute. A sleigh full of hay. And over here, some horses hanging out by the barn, which does look very, very warm and cozy, I must say. You can tell by the glowing light inside. A little, a little uh, stack of wood that looks recently freshly cut for the fire inside with the smoke coming out. And of course, the beautiful barn and the colors that she's done kind of reminiscent of, I want to say Grandma Moses, but her own beautiful, unique style and gorgeous landscape of the Lavender Hills in the background, giving that wonderful atmospheric depth to the painting. Beautiful, beautiful artwork by Marianne Vesey and a gorgeous puzzle to sit and be calm and peaceful with to have small thoughts. Love Winter Neighbors by Cobble Hill, and that is for sure on my to-do list. I wonder if that would make your to-do list. I'd love to hear. Okay, next is getting down to, I think, the last three puzzles, and hopefully we will be able to figure out the situation with the Christmas tree. Okay, hang on. We've got, now this I want to say is Cobble Hill. I think it's the same company. It does Cobble Hill. It's a company called Jack Pine, and you'll see them sometimes a lot on the online stores or big box stores, and I believe the reason for that is they're a little bit lighter weight. That's a really good clue if a puzzle, uh, to puzzle quality is how heavy the puzzle is. So this is Jack Pine, and it does come with a poster. I will just double check. Oh, ooh, it doesn't come with a poster. Okay, so that makes sense then. So now I understand. So hang on. So that's the deck. I got that the wrong way. Pardon me. I'm sorry called Adirondack Chair, and we call them Muskoka Chairs. So this is Adirondack Chair. I would say it was the Muskoka Chair, and indeed it is, with all kinds of our little, again, feathered friends coming for a holiday get-together, which is what I think Christmas is all about, people coming together on those long, cold, dark nights, those long winter nights, coming together in the darkness. and sharing the lights together, sharing the lights and warmth. So we've got all of our little, little, little uh, my bird sense is not that great. I think that's a chickadee, a possibly woodpecker, cardinal, and maybe a little chipmunk, and of course some Christmas bells. Now the quality of very, very pretty image. I think I've seen them on Cobble Hill. Very pretty image. This is probably a little bit lesser quality than Cobble Hill. A little bit lesser quality in general. The box is a bit lighter, um, and I don't know. I would say I want to say similar to a buffalo quality, but 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 a little bit more expensive than it. And it's not for me the the best value that you can get puzzle wise. It's a nice image, but um, I wouldn't want to um, deter you from doing that puzzle. But um, we can do better. Okay, next we've got. One from, surprise, surprise, surprise. We haven't had one from them from a while. Just give me a second. And other surprise. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Look what I found. Oh, my goodness. It's a little clicker. Are you back there still? Look. Found the clicker for the tree. Oh, we're just over here. We must have left it over here. Well, I don't know. It's over here. So. Yay, we got the clicker, so we're going to have lights for the tree. So let's, let's wait to the very end. Does that work? Good, perfect. Very excited. Okay, so I'm going to show you a puzzle that you're going to be surprised about, maybe. Probably one of my favorite puzzle companies, as you can see, Pond Life up there from White Mountain Puzzles. And this is hard to find. I find them very, very hard to find, the 550 size. I love the shape and size of the puzzle pieces. They're on the large size. I'll just show you quickly. You can get those to open up. The larger size are puzzle pieces here. Like that. And I've got a nice blue, a little bit darker blue than Ravensburger. 
And sometimes they come with a box stand, which <laughs> I'd like to see the documentation of somebody using that box stand. If you can get the box stand to work, please let me know by the comments or better yet, show me it working in a photograph again if you want on Instagram and tag me at smaller underscore thoughts and I would like to see. Okay, so that's, this is called Cozy Birdhouse. Look how beautiful, beautiful, how gorgeous, 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 gorgeous is this puzzle. I may have to rethink things and do this one next. I love this puzzle. This is, will be the third holiday season I've done it, and I love it. It's a quick and it's quick puzzle to do, but it's also beautiful to contemplate over just, you know, peaceful thoughts, small thoughts with the sky, the cool blue, pipe the cerulean blues this time, warmer aquamarines, birds, all coming together around their little red birdhouse slash feeder that's been decorated for the holidays and it's got some nice cranberries here and some popcorn and cranberries here and the pine boughs of course very heavy with big sugary chunks of frosted snow gorgeous puzzle to do by the fire as i intend to do this holiday by white mountain puzzles the size i think it's still 18 by 24 so really good size Larger, if, you're, if you like to do the larger handling, but you want a bit more of a challenge and just the 300 pieces, this is like, this is the puzzle for you or the puzzle size for you. Puzzle 550 and hurry up, we're almost there. The last puzzle is coming and this is why I call the video Peace on Earth my inspiration. Can you guess? Can you guess why I call this Peace on Earth? Okay, this is Cobble Hill 1000. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. And look, indeed it is. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas or holiday wreath, just filled with all kinds of Christmas images, some cranberries, some pears, holly berries, apples, a beautiful ribbon woven throughout the, the pine boughs and the evergreen boughs, a little basket and some little bird friends a beautiful dark 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 cranberry and red door with of course the heading piece on a thousand piece puzzle from cobble hill beautiful moving puzzle nice to contemplate again and meditate over and think about the year past and the year to come wonderful puzzle making me think about peaceful times ahead and how much Peace, I am wishing you, Puzzle Buddies. So I think Copernicus will be coming up now and we will finally get to do the lights. Are you ready? Here he is. Coming up. Woo, you've still got your pencil here. Nope, I can take that for you. And you're back. Oh, you're so happy about your the clicker, aren't you? Good. Okay, so I found it. Here you go. Here you go. There you are. And that makes me Think, oh, while well, I'm thinking about that, the good news and the bad news. So what, do you, what would you like first, the good news or the bad news? Okay, well, the bad news is, um, let me just adjust that because that does look a little snug on you. You don't mind? Okay, let's look up. Okay, there, we fixed it. Yeah, it looks good. They're very dashing. Okay, so the good news is, or the bad news is, this is not the last Christmas puzzle video. This is puzzle number Puzzle video collection, video number three of my Christmas puzzle collection. But I think I have to do one more. So this is good news, bad news. The bad news is this is not the last video, but the good news is kind of that we will be having another Christmas video coming. So we'll stay tuned for that. How do you feel about that? Okay, good. In fact, what I was thinking, because I feel kind of anticlimactic, don't you think, to light the tree? on the third kind of in the middle i feel like it deserves more than that and we should do it next time don't you think yeah good 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 and while i'm thinking of that i just wanted to tell everybody thank you once again for joining me i'm lisa and this is copernicus and copernicus oh, you forgot this when you were here by the way but it's not yours i thought you left that behind it looks like something you would have 
okay, well, let me put that back. I thought it was yours. And then also, I'm in a situation here with wrappers. Okay, okay. Not you? Oh, all right. You don't, I thought you, oh, I guess you don't. I guess you don't eat cheese. Okay, well, okay, so. Whew, a lot. I'm Lisa. This is Copernicus. And until next time, drum roll please, we will be waiting to do the Christmas tree lights. Until next time, I'm wishing you lots and lots of small frogs. I thought you were lactose intolerant. I believe you.